Hi, I'm Andy Dudley and welcome to Technical Tuesday. I'm the technical consultant for Global Recycling, but I also get involved with selling the sawmills as well. So the point of Technical Tuesday is to give you an insight into the machinery that we sell and I'll give you a walk around and a bit more in-depth talk on it as well. So today we're talking about the HD36 V2. Some of your basic specifications for this mill. So it's a 36 inch capacity sawmill, so you can put a physical 36 inch round log onto the bed. The bed itself is 20 foot in length, which allows you to cut a 17 foot long log. And the maximum board width you can cut from this mill is 30 inches. You can get varying um, lengths of the bed. So you can have a two foot extension to increase the length of the bed, or you can go for a four foot permanent extension as well. What we'll do, we'll take you through some of the options that are fitted to this mill uh, and show you how they work. So the differences between the HD36, the original version, and the new HD36 V2. As you can see straight away, we've got a new style blade guard on here. So gone is the, the light gray plastic guard. We've gone to a nice graphite black, slightly redesigned guard. Also, the side rails of the bed. So these are roll formed steel side rails. So they're even stronger than before, and they call this the new Dura deck. And then the final thing is the board width. So in here, the throat is now wider. So the old machine, you could cut a 28 inch board from it. This one, you can cut a 30 inch wide board from it. So powering the HD36 V2 is a 23 horsepower Briggs & Stratton V-twin petrol engine. You can get as an option a 7.5 kilowatt electric motor to run it as well. Fitted to this particular mill, we've also got another optional extra, which is the power feed power saw head. So you can control certain aspects of the mill from this remote. It's fully wireless, gives up to 30 meters uh, usability. So from here, we can turn the actual unit on. So once the engine's running, we flick that switch up there. That will increase the engine RPM. We have a switch here. Press and hold that. That will actually lift the carriage up in the air. So you can lift and lower it to, to get your desired thickness of board. And then we have another switch here, which then powers the carriage through the wood as well. We have a potentiometer, and this allows you to speed up and slow down the actual cut period going through the wood as well. This unit here can be recharged from the receiver on the machine. You just plug a lead into the bottom, plug it into the unit, and then let it recharge. As standard with a HD36 V2, you get a pair of log dogs to these units here, and you get a pair of log rests as well. This particular mill has got some hydraulic functions added to it. So on this mill, we've got hydraulic roller tow boards, we've got a hydraulic log turner, we've got a hydraulic log clamping system. And also on the side of the machine, we've got the hydraulic log loader. What I'll do now, I'll fire up the hydraulics and I'll show you all the functions working. On this particular mill, we have the hydraulic power pack. So on this one, we have a little Honda engine that is powering a hydraulic pump and it has its own built-in hydraulic oil tank. So in the kit, you get that unit there and you also get this bank of eight control valves as well. Once you have this as your base kit, you can then add any further hydraulic options to it. So as this mill has a full complement of hydraulic functions, we have here hydraulic log loader, hydraulic clamping system, so these are the back rests. This one here is the adjustable middle rest, and here we have adjustable middle rest up and down. We have log turner up and down, and log turner rotate, and then we have front and rear tow boards. 
So the HD36 V2 comes standard as a static unit, so that means there's no wheels on it, there's no jack legs. So as an option, we do two trailer packages. We do a road legal trailer package and a non-road legal trailer package. This particular mill has got a road legal trailer package on it. Once the road legal trailer pack is fitted, it then has to go for an IVA test. So an IVA test is carried out by DVSA, or VOSA as they used to be called. So what I'll do now is I'll just show you some of the components that will be checked on an IVA test. So as part of the IVA test, the uh, person at the DVSA will be checking items such as the following. we will be checking approval numbers on the coupling, we will be checking serial number on the trailer itself, looking at the lighting system, so we have marker lights, front reflectors, side marker lights going down the machine, all the way to the back to the rear lighting bar. They will then check the function of the lights to make sure they're correct, they'll be checking the mud guards, checking the tyres, checking the axle, and checking the braking system as well. Once it's all been checked and approved, a certificate will be issued, which is a bit like a logbook for your car. So once you've got that certificate, that's it, all done. So just to give you an insight into what actually lies behind the belt guard or the blade guard, uh, we've got adjustable ceramic blade guide here. So you can adjust that to compensate for the width of the wood that you're cutting. You've got an auto lube system that pours water down onto the blade to lubricate it. We have a fixed blade guide on this side, again ceramic guides. A pair of band wheels and these are adjustable for tracking of the blade couple of safety switches so the engine cannot run without the guards being in place. We've got a centrifugal clutch so that is what is actually driving your drive belt thus in turn drives your blade. Now we've shown you how the machine works it's time to get everything packed up and take it for its IVA test. Right, so that's the IVA test completed. Uh, the guy's been round it, he's checked everything out, he's issued the certificate, it's all passed, so we're all good to go. Thanks for watching the video today. Uh, if you would like to like, share and subscribe uh, for our channel, that'd be brilliant. If there's any other machines that you would like us to cover, or if there's any other questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comments section below, and we'll see you next time.